Today we are going to do examination of a, of a baby, newborn baby, but then in OST we want to divide it. We can't give you to examine the whole baby head to toe. We want you to have parts. So the first part that we want to do is the um, examination of the reflexes. So we'll give you just to examine the reflexes, which are five, and then that will for the OST. So the five reflexes that we examine, we're going to see how we're going to do it from this newborn baby. So how we start, we're going to start the face, you and wash, okay. one, two, one, two, just like that, then you dry your hands, so as you're drying your hands, you talk to the mother of the baby, okay, good morning, my Mrs. Mulenga, I am student number two, I've come to examine the activities of the baby. So once you just check if uh, your baby is able to perform certain activities after birth. So may I please go ahead, just say like that, right? So is there anything I can do for you and the baby before I begin? Okay, nothing. So at this moment, I have to wear gloves because it's a newborn baby. So these are just examination gloves, they're not sterile gloves. So, at this moment, we'd like now to examine the baby so that uh, you see the reflexes. So, the reflexes are as follows. As you expose the baby, so we're going to start with um, one, the sucking reflex. So, the sucking reflex, you just want to see if the baby is able to suck. So, you're going to get the baby's thumb, not your finger or your thumb, because it's gloved. So we're going to get the baby's thumb and place it in the mouth. When you place the baby's thumb in the mouth, the baby should be able to suck if the sucking reflex is present. So in this case, the baby is able to suck. So once the baby is done the sucking, you have to go to another reflex. Okay. So the next reflex is the rooting reflex. So rooting, R-O-O-T-I-N-G, rooting reflex. So under the routine reflex, you're supposed to just stroke your finger like this, or you freckle. It's called stroking or to freckle like this from the mouth, from the angle of the mouth, you go away to the cheek. So the baby's head should be able to turn following the finger. If, if it's present, it has to follow. Okay? So when you stroke, the baby's mouth or the head has to turn. So that the baby follows the finger. So this is called a routine reflex. So if the baby is able to turn the head, meaning the routine reflex is present. From there, you are, you are done with the two, which is the sucking routine. Now you go to the grasping reflex. So the grasping reflex is a, a reflex where you place your finger into the baby's hand like that. When you place it there, the baby should be able to grasp it or hold onto your finger. When it holds onto your finger, it means that the grasping reflex is present. So those are the three now. We go to the fourth one. The fourth one is uh, the moral reflex. Moral is M-O-R-O, moral reflex. So moral reflex, you have to hold like this. Some would call it subtle reflex, some it's moral. So you just have to go there and then drop it there. So you hold the baby there with this hand, with his hand, then you drop it to the other hand like that. So the baby will be frightened, meaning that his arms will go together as well as the lower limbs will move. So it will be frightened. If it's frightened, it means that the moral reflex is present. So that's the fourth one. Now the fifth one, so on the moral reflex, that's it. So you're supposed to just uh, make sure that you observe if the child is frightened, meaning it's present. Some will call it subtle reflex. That's the fourth. The next go to the fifth one. The fifth one is called um, a primitive reflex or a giant walk. So a giant walk wants to ensure that the baby is stepping on a hard surface. When the baby steps on a hard surface, then you let it step on its own. So if it moves on its own like that to make a giant step, you 
allowed to move when just holding it uh, there. When it moves, uh, more like it wants to walk, meaning the primitive reflex or the giant walk is present. So those are the reflexes. Number one, it was sucking. Now you place the baby finger in the mouth. Number two was rotting, where you stroke on the cheek. And then the baby has had to follow. Number three was grasping reflex, where the baby should hold your finger or grasp your finger. Then number four was moral reflex, where you're supposed to start with the baby or the baby has to be scared or frightened. You will drop or you can drop like that. You drop. Then the baby will be frightened, moving its arms and legs together. Then the last one is a, a giant walk, where you, you place the baby on a hard surface, and then it has to walk on its own or make a giant step on its own, like that, to move. So meaning those are the five reflexes. That's what you're supposed to do when you're asked. Then lastly, you're supposed to cover the baby. So this is baby of uh, Consi. You're supposed to cover the baby. So this is baby of Consi. You cover, then take it back to the mother. So, Madam Consi, you will tell the mother, okay, here's the baby. You give. Uh, I have examined the baby's reflexes, and all the reflexes are present. So, it's about to achieve all the activities that wanted to examine. So, thank you very much for allowing me to do this procedure. And then, when you are discharged, you are supposed to ensure that the umbilicus is cleaned, as well as... Uh, taking the child for under five penny. So you give your IEC accordingly, according to the situation in the stem of the question. Okay, so thank you very much and keep watching. So don't forget the other rule of hand washing. You do hand washing like that. Okay. So you can keep practicing so that you get used to the examination of the baby. So we'll keep examining until we finish the baby. So the next time we examine, we're going to examine the baby's head and chest. So that you see. Then the other time will be the abdomen. So keep following.